Hello students. Today I begin our first online maths class. Lesson 1. Numbers and number names. You already know a lot about numbers. Like the greatest one digit number is 9. The greatest two digit number is 99. And the greatest three digit number is 999. The greatest four digit number is 9999. Do you see a pattern here? The pattern is one digit, the greatest number is one nine, two digit, the greatest number is two nines, three digit, the greatest number is three nines, and the four digit greatest number is four nines. Similarly, you also know the smallest one digit number is 1. The smallest two digit number is 1010. The smallest three digit number is 100. The smallest four digit number is 1000. 1 followed by three zeros. Again, do you see a pattern here? For one digit, we have 1. For two digit, we have 1 followed by 1 zero. For smallest three digit number, we have 1 followed by 2 zeros. For smallest four digit number, we have 1 followed by 3 zeros. Now let us look closely. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. 99 plus 1 is equal to 100. 999 plus 1 is equal to 1000. Now this was basic. But here 9 is the greatest one digit number and when we add 1 to it, we get the smallest two digit number. Similarly, 99 is the greatest two digit number and when we add 1, we get the smallest three digit number. Similarly, 999 is the greatest three digit number and when we add 1, we get the smallest four digit number. Now this is something you all knew till now. Now when we see 9999 and we add one to it, we get 10,000. Now this is the greatest four digit number and by adding one, we have entered the five digit series and we have got the smallest five digit number. What is the smallest five digit number? We have just come across this. It is one followed by four zeros. The number name for this is 10,000 and it is written as one zero comma zero zero zero. The place value chart for this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and 10,000. Under the 10,000 column, we will have one and rest of the places will be occupied by zero. Now, what is the greatest five digit number? For this, we will have five nines. The number name for this is 99,999. And we will write it as 99 comma 99 and 9. The place value chart for this is Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. Here, all places will be occupied by nine. Have a look. Similarly, the smallest six digit number. So, this is going to be one followed by five zeros. And what, what do we call this number? The number name for this is hundred thousand. And it is also known as 1 lakh. Now 100,000 is in international system. In Indian system, it is known as 1 lakh. When we write this in Indian system, the commas will be placed as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Have a look at the place value chart. So this will be clarified further. Here we have 1s, 10s, 100s. That is one period, 
then that is why we have a comma after 3. Then we have 1000, 10,000. That is the second period. So, comma after 2. Then we have lakh. There we enter into the third period. Now we come to abacus. You have already done four digit numbers on abacus. Let us quickly revise it. Here the number given is 5124. So 4 is there in the ones place. So how many beads will we put in ones place? 4. Alright. Now tens place we have 2. So we will put 2 beads in the tens place. Hundreds place we have 1. So 1 bead in hundreds place. And thousands place we have 5. So 5 beads in thousands place. This, this you have done in class 3 also. Now let us do 5 digit number on the abacus. Okay. Now this example we have 13,205. We have to represent this on the abacus. We will start in the same manner. Once place we have 5. So we will put 5 beads in the 1's column. Tens place we have 0. So we will not put any bead there. We will directly go to the 100's column. Here we have 2. So 2 beads in 100's column. Then 1000's place we have 3. So 3 beads in 1000's column. And 10,000 column, we have 1. So only 1 bead will come in the 10,000 column. This is about Abacus. Now I want you to do a worksheet. Now it is a small worksheet with just 5 questions. First question, write the numbers shown on the Abacus. 1A. You can see the number. I will not tell you the answer. I want you to write it down. And 1B. Have a good look. Note down your answer. Next, question 2. Write the following numbers. 1 more than 100. Second, 1 more than 122. Third, one more than 43,500. Fourth, one more than 22,499. Next, we have one more than 10,000. And the last one, one more than 9,999. Next question, question number three. For each of the following, write the next three numbers starting from the number given here. The first one, 76,363. So, you will now write next three numbers after 76,363. Okay, after this you have to write three more numbers. Well, next one. 27,609. If you don't know what to do, you will just, I'll give you a hint here. You have to add 1 and find the next number. Like this, you will keep on adding 1 3 times. And every time when you add 1, you will write that number as answer. The C part, 12,585. Question number 4. Write all the numbers between... 23,029 and 23,035. Now here again, you will keep adding 1 and keep writing it till the time you reach the last number. The second part, 45,615 and 45,618. Last question. Fill in the blanks by observing the pattern carefully. I will give you a second to look at the question. 
Okay, the first one, 22,322. 22,324. 22,326. So if you notice the last numbers, 22, 24, 26. Can you see the pattern there? I'll let you answer that. The next question, 10,315, 10,320, 10,325. Here, again, look at the last two numbers, 15, 20, 25. I can see the pattern, can you? All right, let's go to the next question now. 13,110, 13,210. 13,310. So can you see the hundredths place? It is 1, then it becomes 2. And the third place it has become 3. So that is the pattern. Well, I am sure you can write the next four numbers. The last one. 73,248. 74,248. 75,248. I will let you do this. I hope this session was of use to you. Till we meet again, stay safe, stay happy.